Hey, what's up, super fans? It is FitNerd from Superheroes Ultimate, and today we're going to be unboxing the Jim Lee exclusive collector's backpack. We're doing a giveaway for a one-to-one -one scale prop replica of Captain America's shield by Marvel Legends. If you want to be entered, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell, give us a thumbs up, and comment below. Alright, so let's get this puppy open. Sweet! Alright, so this is the bag. Um, probably the quickest shipping I have ever seen from, uh, from Kickstarter. Seriously, the turnaround is like ridiculous timing and this looks insanely awesome when you actually see it in person, the, the artwork that's on here from Jim Lee. And up, oh, yep, since we hit goal, thank you so much for supporting this project. We had a great time working with Jim Lee to bring the bags into existence. We wish you all the best as you get to rock the first backpacks designed especially with artists and collectors in mind. Thanks again for your support, enjoy Hex. At Hex Brand, in case you guys want to follow them on Instagram. So, let's see, this should be the envelope with the art, I believe. Yep, this is the envelope with the art. So, since it hit goal, they said that they would send out a lithograph of the sketch that's on there. Yep, this is it, right here. So this is a print of the lithograph that's actually on the bag, I believe. Yep, that's the same one. So if you look at the bag, this is the sketch that's on there. So not only uh, if you're among the first to actually get the collector's edition, which is with the Batman sketch on the bag, um, you also get a lithograph print. So this is the Jim Lee, the Hex Jim Lee collector series collector's bag. Um, really, really damn legit. This is awesome. And I love this uh, sketch cover. That, that This is the same exact uh, drawing that we got as a lithograph if you were among the first of the backers for this backpack. Um, and it comes with this nice blue outline sketch on the outside. And I believe it does have it on the inside. One of the cool little features is, check this out. The zippers are actually small little batarangs. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but the zippers are actually little tiny batarangs. Really, really awesome. The sides, you can see that this is actually where you would put the, the holder for the posters. Um, and it looks like you can actually open it up right here and put the holders as well. So you actually have, oh, it's actually a separate pocket. This is actually awesome that it has a separate pocket right here because I can actually probably put my, um, my portable charger in here. That would be awesome, actually. That's a good little discovery. But yes, you could put the, the holders for the posters right here. Um, what I'm gonna have to do with the holder that I have is that I'm used to holding it from here, obviously. So I'm gonna take these off because I will not need them as the backpack, it will be fitted right in there. So I could take this off now. I won't have to hold it. Um, so if you open it up right here, you can see this is where your oh, the inside stitching is even part of that uh, design of Batman. You can see the inside is just awesome, awesome looking. Um, you could put your Overstreet um, book in here or you could put your phone, you could put your pens. I'm going to do a testing of it. I'm going to put pens and markers and business cards and all types of stuff in here. Um, there's an additional pocket right here from the looks of it. Yep. So you can actually put the Overstreet book in here. I believe that's what they said in the when they were describing the video in the the Kickstarter. But I don't think I'll be using it for Overstreet. I mean, everything's digital now, and I have access to all of that stuff on my phone, so I won't need that. Um, if we open it up in here, we actually can see how it's like a filing cabinet. So we can put all of the books right in here. And it has a good amount of cushion on the sides, if you notice. That's actually really cool because it's not right on the side. So if you bump into someone, and let's say it's a CGC um, encasement, it's not going to be broken up or uh, cracked if you accidentally bump into someone out here. Because it does happen. I mean, you guys, if you guys have been to New York Comic Con, it is 
really, really tight to walk around. Um, again, with that inside stitching, with that awesome uh, design of Batman, that blue color really freaking pops. I love that, I love that. It's like all over on the inside of the stitching, all over inside of the bag. Let's check out the back. Um, you have the tags that says, of course, Hex um, equipped the creators. This is freaking epic. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Thanks so much for your purchase. We appreciate your support and hope you enjoy your Hex experience from Hex. A couple of slots in here where you can actually hook on things. Um, it has the little tiny buckle in here. So when you place it on, it's nice and secure on you. It has a lot of opportunity to just hang stuff and put stuff in here and just really, really, well, pack it up. So let's pack this sucker up. Let's put it up. Let's put it to the test. First, I'm going to test it out with a bunch of CGC uh, books, full-blown, already graded CGC covers. And then I'm going to try it with just regular comic books, not CGC, and see how many of each one of them it holds. And then I'm just going to play around with it and do both. And wanted to take a moment and give a big shout out to Performa with their cool gear with shaker cups, wristbands, all officially licensed, Star Wars, DC, Marvel, and so much more cool gear. Check out the description below and use code FITNERD15 and you will get 15% off your entire order. All right, so we got some CGC comics out. Um, first off, I'm going to put in my laptop in here because it does have a slot on the back side right here of the book bag um, and it perfectly fits my laptop and of course if you're at these conventions I mean typically a lot of these conventions have Wi-Fi accessibility so having a, oh, a laptop as an option is actually awesome so I, I would never think of taking it but now since the pocket is here why not so without further ado all right so I was able to kind of squeeze in two more in here. Oh, this bag is actually kind of heavy now, but it is a backpack so it will feel comfortable once you place it on you. But it holds approximately eight CGC fully graded. This is, you know, none of, there's no other comics in here. Now, does it have room for more comic books in here? You could actually just place them in here if they're raw comic books. So the max amount that I would suggest is just eight CGC graded comics in here all right so I took out all the CGC stuff now let's test out just purely raw comic books which is non graded and see how many we can actually fit in here so I got another 25 comic books in here so let's put them in here okay, there's at least 50 to 52 comic books already in here and let's Close it up, let's test that out. There's very comfortably a 50 to 52 range comic book. So you could actually probably squeeze between 10 to 12 in between each individual slot. And let's see if we still have space over here. Um, yeah, plenty of space. Look at this, it's not even being crushed. They're being supported. They're nice and cushioned and they're safe. Most importantly, they are safe. All right, so we packed it all up. This is packed to the gills. I did do a lot of trial and error and test out where I actually want things to be. So check out everything that's in here. So this is all the stuff that was actually in this bag. I had a water bottle. I have my shaker from Performa, which I use a lot because as you guys know I am in fitness so my protein content must be kept up to par I had the backup charger with the cable and the charger adapter also my keys um, two sharpies one silver one black because you never know when you're gonna get an autograph or get some signatures a pen my wallet um, this is actually the size of my phone. It's just a casing because the phone is actually being used right now to record this video. Business cards, 32 comic books raw here. I had three CGC comics, my laptop, 
the poster holder, and of course some snacks because I get the munchies here and there so I need to keep up my fuel. It's all in the bag right here, nice and comfortable. Definitely, definitely a go-to when it comes to Comic-Con bags. If you're gonna to go to a convention and you're a collector and you like to get posters and comics, check out the link below where you can still get one for yourself. I'll see you on the next Fit Nerd over and out. Hey super fans, unleash your inner superhero with these super compression shirts, tank tops, leggings, shorts, t-shirts, and even costumes. Link in the description below. Three, two, one, a blue!